Um, hello guys, um, welcome back to another video, and uh, I guess today we will be watching 30 maps that you need to see, um, from Zampax. I really like watching his videos, and I realize I have posted a video such of a long time ago, I was like, let me just post a video, me watching a video, I still didn't see this one, so... Let's see. Come back to yet another map video where we take a look at the best maps I found and created. So let's get started. This first map shows us the population growth per continent from 2000 to 2018. Just look at the difference between Africa and Europe. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, that, that's really a very big difference. Take a good look. These are the most popular sports in every single country in the world. Why is football such of a popular sport? Archery. Right? There's like no like other sport than football. There's only. Yeah, this was the latest United Nations Perfect. vote to end United States embargo against Cuba. Wait, do you want vote U.S. I have no idea what it is. In favor, everybody is in favor almost. Only the United States is, is again. Oh no, 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 there's a Israel there. What is Israel? Why? Probably close relationships. Did not vote. Brazil and uh, they did not vote. Why did Brazil and Ukraine do not vote? How many years do you need to work to earn one million dollars in these European countries? Wow, that's actually a way. Wait, let me just see if I can just zoom out. Oh my god, in Ukraine. I think that's the highest Ukraine is. Wow. <laughs> in the... Wow, only 31 years. 22 years! Iceland. Wait, 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 Luxembourg, if I can read it, is 18 years. <laughs> the literal meaning of every country's name in Africa. Okay, Land of God, Western Desert, Land of the Moors. Um, I cannot read any of these. Burnt People, Lion Mountains, Free Land, Ivory Coast, just, just the same. Warrior King. I have no idea. I cannot read that. Neither this country. Oh yeah, the land of the honest man, hippo. Niger River, river I think. Lake, Chad's Lake. Oh, I never knew that. Land of the Tubulai. I have no idea. Land of the islands. There's there, they barely even have any islands. Land of the I cannot read that. Home of the Soul of Path, Land of the Blacks, um, Shrimp, okay. Occultorial Burned People. Why, why there's so much burned people? Why? Clock, clock, yeah, I think. Okay, that's just the same, even that one. Shift. Vez, um, palace, land of the Tazwana, Sander, land of Afari, saint of Hel Heda, <laughs> prince meshes, master de Seychelles, land of the Zambrians, river, if I'm right, I have Sultan Makra Mikri, flames. All right, all right, flames. Land of the and black coast. I have oh, land of the lake and black coast. I never knew that they had a black coast. I have to research that. Brothers and sisters, that's kind of giving me communist vibes. Mm. White mountains. Land of the milking Normans. Alright, um, 
Land of the burnt fish. Why is everything burnt in Africa? <laughs> the Red Sea. Djibouti, Djibouti is the same. Dining. I think I did all of them, right? English. Yeah, whatever. I think I did all of them. There's, there's a couple more, but I cannot read them. Like... Over here, I cannot read barely anything instead of burnt people. Why is there so much burnt? Countries where it's illegal to intentionally destroy, humiliate, or damage a national flag in public. Oh, wow, this is actually very interesting. Now, every single country we can see. It's illegal for... Okay, um... International for oh, it's legal. Even landmark over there. Look at that. We, if I can see here, there are he still doesn't even know. National burn destruction is legal. Oh, yep, these people are breaking. Obviously, I expect it from international. Oh, oh, why does oh my god, there's a ton. Um, we should probably not talk about Portugal because, yeah, reasons. The most and least happy countries in the world, and I don't know what they use to calculate this, but I've traveled the world and Finland is definitely not the happiest. I think bra- Really? I always thought that Finland is pretty happy. Wait, Finland is the happiest? I always thought that Iceland is the happiest country in the world. I knew that Afghanistan are the most unhappiest country ever. I knew that. What about North Korea? Yeah, North Korea is not there probably because obviously almost. Because if they would, they would be the most happiest country. But in reality, they would be not because of law reasons. But, you know, North Korea is a very confusing place. I never thought like South Africa. Probably they didn't put these here because they're super unhappy almost all of africa are super unhappy and you can just see wow i never knew that brazil is countries in the world where the president must be a natural born citizen however estonia is missing on this map wow all right I re Wait, really? Only these countries? Wait a minute, really? I thought all the world accepted in this. Russia? Why is Russia? Even right, Russia had that law, if I'm right. And even Estonia, they're supposed to be there. Wow, I never even knew that. Well, England, they had an Indian, if I'm right, as their president once. Which is common sense. Wow, but it's pretty unexpected. I thought it was a lot more. And New Zealand is popping up right In now. September 2022, this was the percentage of iPhone users in Europe. I do not use iPhone just for you guys to know, but wow. All right. I use Samsung, Android. Is... We're not going to get into conclusions, but you know. And wow, I actually, wow. Norway. Norway has a ton of people, even Andorra, Morocco, if I'm right, Liechtenstein, Denmark, Norway, they, they all have a lot of iPhone users. Vatican, no information. What does the Pope has? <laughs> and Poland is the least. Wow, there's a lot of young iPhone users in like western what is that western no western is this side eastern europe wow there's really any well probably because all you know reasons uh, you know checklist of okay on that stuff of uh, the cold war from right even spain uh, they're, they're super we all know what this is the presidential election in the united states in 2020 but now now this is what it all looks like if only women had voted only women. Early in a Looks like if only women had voted. Oh, it went a little bit more like oh my god, women really like Biden. 
And now, let's switch it up. What if American. only men had voted? Oh my god, men really love uh, Donald, man. I'm not American. But, you know, I do not know anything of this. Since the Russian invasion on Ukraine, Ukraine has been fighting back and these are all the reported drone attacks on Russian targets in Russia. Yes, I'm not really into this war and stuff, but wow, Ukraine attacked Moscow pretty good, I guess. Well, a war is both countries attacking each other, not one country, which means it's a okay for me. But Putin is mad because of the attacks. Did you know that in 1920, there was a bizarre proposal to create a new single peaceful European Union with 24 artificially created states? What do you- Ah, oh, I heard something about think about this. It. I heard something about this. It's all in one city, if I'm right. It's in... Austria Hungary if I'm right, all of it is there. They try to create I do not know if it's a one country or a pack, but Central Europe they really wanted to be together and stop all the wars um you know stuff, which means they decided to make a group if I'm right, but it failed because the first world war came in if I'm right. I'm not an expert for you guys to know. And that was the name. Mid din frim frendren des kimre in the Europees. Yeah, well, did you know that there were actually countries that had people displayed at zoos? The what? I expected it from you know, I from India because I heard a ton of stories. You Europe. Well, probably some old stupid stuff. Countries in blue. Yeah, I kidding? heard about the United States. I heard about it. But I never, I never expected the United Kingdom and Italy. I never. Heard. Here's just an interesting map of Argentina I found on Reddit. Y bueno, che, vamos a los pibes. Eh? I didn't understand. Wait, what was this joke? I found on Reddit. Y bueno, che, vamos a los pibes. Eh? Probably he's he probably speak Espanol, whatever is their language. Uh, oh, oh wow! All right. Yeah, that's the capital city over there. Um, I, I don't ask me the cap. El, El Spoil de Pedro. I don't know the capital city. Over and there. here is Argentina, as it is on the back of the Argentinian passport. Oh. Ooh, all right. All right. And now, male body hair distribution of indigenous human Oh my god! Populations you're... around the world. The more red, oh the more hair. Oh my god, look at Japan! The rest of the world are like, bruh, no, I don't want to, but look at you, rip. Um, road traffic on. deaths per 100. Mississippi! Oh my god. Thousand people in the United States yes, and Europe. Yes, Europe. Europe is a pretty safe now. I know it. Compared to the United States, well, I know that it's something that I can cut off my bucket list to go to United States. Here's a DNA <laughs> map of Europe. Austrians are the most typical Europeans, while Finns are the most diff different. Wonder why. Suomi Perkele. Okay, um, I think every, I think there's everybody. Wow, I never knew that it was this. Well, I feel, oh my god, there's actually so much. Yeah, I expected, like, Europe are extremely equal, but probably in the Mediterranean zones, they will be a little bit more less, you know, because of African people immigrating sadly, but that stuff. Oh, wow, I thought, like, Spain or Italy would be... Or other places like in that touches the Mediterranean Sea, whatever. But I never expected Finland. I don't know. I don't know why. Probably in history, something happened in history in Finland, and I have no idea. Oh God. Okay, it's lovely. Well, well, the Irish railway network 100 years ago versus today. Any Irish person wanna explain this to me? Yeah, I really want an explanation for this. Well, I know that the population went down because of the, you know, some sort of something of war versus Ireland and Great Britain. That's really, a, 
it probably because they went a lot more into cars and blah 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 probably and trains they weren't that funded that much but i have no idea why it's very fun going on trains for me <laughs> The Muslim population map of the world. Where do the most Muslims live? Well, okay, I expected like Africa and the Middle East and this zone here, the Stan zone. I mean, even Indonesia, because in Indonesia they have the most religion, I heard. France, they really have their Muslim population up. And even here is super broken. Probably because of the Turkish Empire that they did a very, very big effect. Even these zones here, look. Look at all these. Look. Wow, I actually never knew that. I learned something today. Here's an animation showing flights taken by Brigoy. Who is this guy? <laughs> Yes, His I private down chat below. since he's this? uprising on June 24. Wow, okay. What, why are these all these jets flying about? These are the proposed beats for the 2030 FIFA World Cup. What do you think? I personally prefer Uruguay, Paraguay, Argentina, and Chile. Wow, alright, I am not a professional. Here's a map showing the most consumed type of meat by country. I really like my fish, let me just be honest. I really like chicken and fish. If you ask my friends, I will die for fish. Not, not, not for fish. For um, chickens. Chickens actually win so much of the world. But even fishing. Pig meat, wow. There's a couple of meat countries. I'm not that much of a meat guy. And the other meat. Oh, Papua New Guinea is an other meat guy. And somebody else. Here it is. The biggest question right now. Barbie versus Oppenheimer. Here's um, I didn't see the Barbie movie. Not even the Oppenheimer movie, but I'm thinking about seeing it, the Oppenheimer movie, but I have no idea. I haven't seen it yet. So something for me. Here's a map showing the most Googled one in every country. Wow, every country. Barbie actually wins so much. But even Oppenheimer. And now Barbie versus Oppenheimer, United States version. I'm not American, so I cannot intervene in it. Wow, Mississippi. You really like your Barbie. Oh, New Mexico, they really like Oppenheimer. Percentage of the European population who believes there is life after death. Whoa, Turkey. Turkey are big believers in everything. <laughs> and, yep, Albania, they believe and believe. Sadly, but whoa, I thought it was pretty much more higher because the big religions in Europe, but wow, it's a lot less. The ethnic Greek areas in Cyprus from 1831 to 2011. What? Like, it was a lot more random. At the time, at the 1831 and the 1860, I mean 1960, it was a ton more scattered all around the place. If it's even a word, <laughs> but look at now, 2011. Today it's not 2011, but this is what it says. Well, over here we even have the timeline. Maybe you can just if whoever wants to read it. Greece gets conquered by the Ottomans, expelling the veterinarians. The UK assumes, I cannot read that word, and of Cyprus from the Ottomans. UK annexes Cyprus, the start of World War I. Greek corpse, corpses rot, demanding the union with Greece. Greece rebels for the ego launch of guerrilla campaign British rule. 
Cyprus becomes independent. The Cyprus president, I cannot read that name. <laughs> Can, oh. Yeah, I cannot read that because I don't want to ruin it. Okay. Greet helps. Echo B removes Mokis Turkish invaders roughly after the Cyprus demands population. The continent of Africa now. Uh, oops. Uh, put me back up. Put me back up. Uh, how do I do it? Okay. Oh, versus the continent of Africa in 1939. Wow, that's such a bad. Yeah, I was at that time there was a ton of, you know, British invaders, but wow, they, they're the most country. The highest mountain peak in every continent. Every is my cartoon than the... Alright. Yeah, I probably thought about Everest. And this very last map shows us the percentage of Catholic people in the Americas. Ooh. Catholic people, all right. Probably because of the, you know, different, like, you know, whatever. We don't need to talk about it. Really? Listen to... Wow, this is such of an empty zone here from the United Kingdom. This is... I have no idea, but this is French. Yeah, probably. Mexico, Peru, Paraguay, some parts of Brazil. They're very Catholic. Oh, yeah, and even Canada up there. Yeah, even bits of Canada. Well, if you're still here, comment, I love geography and maps. All right. <laughs> I have nothing better to do. No, I, no I'm joking. I'm not going to comment. But please, you guys, go to this guy. I'm going to leave this um, video in the comments section. And I guess I'll see you soon. Bye.